So I'm super excited, guys. The month is almost over, and I think that we all did really well. Um, I mean, that we're kind of all starting to find our grooves, or at least maybe you're finding what's not working. Okay, and that's not always a bad thing. Sometimes people find what doesn't work, and the whole idea is just keep trying and figure out what does. There's one thing I can say though, it's really just being consistent with what you're trying. Okay, it isn't always that it doesn't work. It's just that we usually just don't give it enough time to work for us, okay? Um, whether it's a tracking system or it's an invite that you're using. Don't think just because you send one invite to 20 people and nobody responded that, that it's not a good invite, okay? I just want to show you guys just a few quick things so that you can see um, really what's gone in or what goes into, what's the word I'm looking for? Like looking at this more or less as a numbers game, knowing what your goal is, how many people you want to bring into your challenge group, how many coaches you want to sign up on your team. Like having that success club number, it should be something that motivates you when you really do think of it as those are girls filling those spots. These are people that have the opportunity to fall in love with a workout program, the community, whatever is going on in your own private challenge groups, as well as just with Shakeology alone, even if it's just for the discount. Okay. So if you do look at it like a number, then yeah, it's just a matter of talking to people and a lot of them. Okay. Not getting so hung up on, um, things like social media and, and I cannot stress that one enough. Okay. I do it. I do it all the time. Um, yeah, like really, <laughs> really <sighs> thanks for helping though. I appreciate it trying to lose our, it's been a long effing day. Um, but just knowing that you guys really are in control of how you want to go about this. Okay. Just knowing that if you do have bigger goals, it's just a matter of talking to more people. I don't know if anybody other than Jess was on, um, that happened to hop on Ashley Foddison's team call last night after the team boom call, but she had a girl on there who I think is really effing awesome. And her name's Mandy Kai. Um, I didn't really know anything about her story. I just found her on Instagram one day. But what I loved about what she was talking about is how she's like, I'm just, for so long, I would just would hashtag girl boss or hashtag free bird life or, you know, love being my own boss. She's like, but I would think to myself, but I'm not, I'm not really working this. I'm not getting like, I'm not getting like to the grid of this. I'm not hustling. I'm not making sacrifices. And that's really what it takes to reach massive levels of success. So guys, it's not going to be pretty every single day. And if you saw the post that I reshared from what Patrick shared in the boom fam today about how, you know, just sometimes you just need to set an alarm. You just need to go through. And once you get that flow, it doesn't feel like you're just sitting down and doing follow-ups and tally marking your, a sticky note. It seems like you're actually having conversations and you realize how many people out there, one, care about who you are to even listen to you and two are watching you like they're watching you and that's pretty awesome. And once you get into that flow, once you get over the, Oh my God, I have like 800 messages to send today. And we get so like staring at this mountain, like just, just said earlier, guys, I feel you. The only difference between people, people hitting high success club, hitting high success club numbers and building their teams quickly or the fact that they just don't stare in awe and overwhelm long, okay? They might for a minute or two have a panic attack, put on some music, get in the mood, and just start talking to all of your future BFFs, okay? That's really going to be the difference between how quickly you decide to, how quickly you, you build your business, okay? But just to show you guys, for example, um, this month, I have sent more messages than I can remember sending in a very, very long time. And I've been very open about this and like showing you guys my accountability tracker and just like really trying to find and create that discipline. And I've definitely had days where I've woken up and I'm like, you know, it just sucks that I feel like I've been doing so much and I'm what, it's six, it's 12, really. But then I think like that's six brand new people that currently are not coaches. And if those six people signed up right now as, as a coach, which I'm hoping that they're going to in a week, then my mom's going to be diamond, you know? So it's staying focused on the bigger goal and not just getting so beat up about that stuff. But I could have sat here and said, okay, well, I've only had six people join, but I feel like I did the work to have had like 20 to 30 because it's not just about the effort that you're putting in now. 
Okay. I know that all of the, all of what I've put in this month, I will be rewarded for June, July, and August. Okay. And I know that. And that to me was enough to, to wake up early, to stay up a little bit later, to sacrifice some Netflix time and whatnot. Okay. But just to give you guys an example, all of the people in the blue have either been invited once or invited and follow up and have not responded. Okay. Just in the blue. So these are people that have not responded that I've reached out to this month. Okay. So just to give you an idea of, I feel you and I could easily say that it's my invite. It's all that, whatever I think. No, it just keeps going. Yeah. Cause there's a bunch of breaks and stuff. Okay. So yeah, I freaking feel you when I say it sucks and people don't respond, but I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on the people that I'm talking to and the girls that at one point were interested. No, it's not as much. And yes, it stops a little bit earlier, a little bit longer. But if you consider that the one goes into like the thousands and the stops at like 180, come on. I know that it gets frustrating, but you just have to know that everything that you're doing right now is planting that seed. Okay. So do you guys have any questions real quick as far as just like tracking and stuff? I feel like that's something that I would really love to talk with you guys about. Cause I feel like that's one thing that everybody's been kind of bouncing around with. And I think we all kind of agree. I don't know what works for me. I like this at first and then it's day three of doing it. And I'm like, Oh my God. So what do you guys kind of think? Let's just do this as an open forum. Really quick, if I can, I was going to type mine out, but my freaking keyboard is like disconnected. I don't know what's going on. But um, for your dates that you had on there, is that the last, like, do you update it every time you last talk to them? Yeah. So what I do is these dates, I'll show you really quick. So the colors basically are just for when I am pressed for time and I might not have whatever, like just say when I'm coming, like, it's like the first of the month. The first section I'm going to go to is always the people that were interested. I keep make sure that this is up to date every single day, non-negotiable. Okay. So you're not going to see, to be honest, I didn't get a chance to do anything yet today, but other than five 30, like you're not going to see anything before then. Okay. Like there's five 31, everything is updated for next month, five 31, five 31. I update this every day because these are the girls that were like, I'm interested. They have a link. Um, we're about to do a phone call. Are they joining? Text me. So they must have my phone number, all that kind of stuff. All right. The next section is just people that I'm in mid conversation with. So I've invited them or, or, and, or I followed up with them. And at some point they've said something, they've given me an objection. They've either given me an objection, like, Hey girl, oh my gosh, that sounds great. But this month isn't going to work. Like I'm running a camp. Okay, whatever. Like this is perfect for you then. If you don't have time, then this is great because you can t- do this with you when you go to camp. So I make sure that these people are just kind of, I know that this section is going to be a little bit shorter. So it's a little bit easier for me to tackle this rather than all of the hundreds of people that are in this blue section. Okay. So the check back date is for when I want to follow up with them. So for example, today is 530, right? So what I would come to do today is I think I even have like 60. Yeah. So I have like 56 either follow-ups or invites to do. So I'm going to search for 530 and I just have this little arrow and it'll guide me. So I'll come over here. I'll see that this girl's in bold. All right. And I have it labeled that when it's in bold up at the very top, that means that I invited them last time. So now when I go to invite or when I go to message them, I know it's going to be a follow-up. So I keep it super simple. I have my Google Keep open. And all I do is I just come here. I click on, where is it? Um, Fitness follow-up somewhere. It's in here. Oh, hey, I hope you're having a great day. I'm sure you're crazy busy, blah, blah, blah. All right. So then all I would do is come back here. I can't do it right now because it's on, it's an Instagram one. But I would send that message to her. Let me see where it is again. Okay. So for both of these girls, I would come here and I would change it from bold to italics. And because I've already invited and followed up with her this month, my next check back date is going to be exactly one month from now. Okay. That's how I do it. I invite, 
I follow up a week later, and this is all if they have not responded. And then I invite the following month. So it's exactly 30 days later. And all I say is, hey girl, sorry last month didn't work, or I don't know if last month was crazy for you too, but I definitely want to check back in and um, see if you wanted to snag a spot in my next virtual studio or online gym or boot camp or something like that. Does that answer that question? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Um, the key is just sticking with this and this works for me. Um, I don't have to keep notes for these people. So I only have their name and a check back date. Okay. These people. So for example, anybody that you see here, these are going to be all invites tomorrow. All of these girls, I hay girled and I hay girled them a week ago tomorrow. Okay. So what I'm going to do is all these girls are going to be the same copy and paste to, uh, invite. The only thing that might be different are if I reached out to them and I said, as it is right here, Hey, just want to reach out and say hi and how excited I am to be connected and be friends. Hope you're having the best day and excited to chat more. Okay. They might've responded or they might have not either way. I'm inviting them. Okay. So all that I do is come up and I see that whole section. This whole section is regular font and regular font means that we're just chatting. So that means that now they're going to be invited today and they're all going to turn bold and the check back date is going to be one week from that. When I check back that next week, it's just going to be that invite or that follow up unless they've responded. They've responded and they said anything other than no, um, they're going to go either in pink or yellow once they've responded. So that I know these are the people that are talking to me. These are the people that I've reached out to. Okay. They have not responded to me yet or they're just in the hey girl stage. What do you guys think about that? Is that, does that work for you? Um, I know that I think Jenna, you use Asana. I just started using Asana. Okay. Yeah. I found out that, cause I don't know. I kind of, I, I, I like how you do it, and I was, I've been doing that since day one, but I like um, kind of seeing all my dates go in order. I feel you. I just, that's what. I did a sauna for a long time, too, and I think it works for people. Um, I confuse myself when I leave too many notes and things like that, and I, would just, I was just getting distracted with it, and to be honest, I wasn't keeping up with it. It's not that a sauna doesn't work. I was not consistent with it enough that I would get emails that I had like 50 um, like unmarked tasks to do or unfinished tasks and stuff like that and just overwhelm me. That, that's exactly why I just started fresh. I didn't bring those people over, guys. I left them. I left them and I completely started fresh. I went through my inbox first and I just started tracking those names. I, went to, I just started inviting people and tracking those people's names. At the beginning of the month, this contact list did not exist. None of these people's names were on here. Okay, so don't think that you have to like, oh, I need to drag everybody over. Just start inviting people, going through your inbox, and whatever you've been tracking people from, instead of updating your current one, just start doing the newer one that you want to stick to. But I would definitely give it like three weeks, like, at, you know, 21 days. I know as cheesy as that sounds, just to see if it does work. You know, just tell yourself, I want to be consistent with this at least five days a week. Yeah. And then that way things just don't, they don't, just don't seem overwhelming. And then you just get into the habit where I see things like 50 follow-ups and yeah, honestly, two months ago when I was like still, you know, back and forth, like, am I really doing this or not? Um, 50 in follow-ups would have scared the crap out of me. But now it's just like, I'm just so focused on our tribe is so awesome. And I can't wait for more girls to be a part of this, that it's just, if I want that to happen, I need to talk to them. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I get, I always think I'm going to say the wrong thing. To be honest, sometimes it takes me 10 minutes just to make one invite. Okay. But you bet your ass it's going to be one invite that I'm going to send to 60 people that night. Okay. So yes, take time. If you do care that much about that invite and it, it makes you a little bit nervous to send it, put your heart behind it. And don't listen to people that are like, my coach Amy always used to be like, your invites are too long. And I was like, it's working for me and it's personal. So I really don't care. You have to find just what works for you. Okay. But again, just stick with one long enough to see what does happen. I usually find that between like, 
I've been doing this thing where I'm trying to send 40 donut invites a day. And out of those 40, on average, a little under half are responding. Okay, guys, that's really good for people that have no relationship with me whatsoever. Okay, and you guys are all cooler than I am, so definitely try it. I, people will definitely respond to you, okay? Um, so is, go ahead. What is the one, um, just because I did try and do the one that you do, like with tracking, and I just got so overwhelmed with constantly having to like the dates and everything and then like italicizing, and it was just like way too many names all together. So I just got really overwhelmed. Um, I did like Asana a lot, but then I saw there was a new one. I forget who mentioned it, but it's, I think it's with Google, but it's like a, you can like color code. It's Google streak. Yeah. That. Okay. Yeah. You can definitely try it. Um, it's way more in depth than Asana. Um, it's going to take you a minute to kind of set it up. I'm not going to lie, but it can be an awesome source if you use it. Definitely something though, that if you're going to do this, commit to it. Okay. Okay. Cause it is going to take you like a minute to organize it and decide like what tabs and things that you want. I would definitely watch a YouTube video on it. Okay. I used it for, I used it for a little bit and then it's because of streak that I like Google sheets. Okay. The reason I color code this is because my things were color coded on Google sheet or on Google streak. Okay. Um, you can leave lots of notes, keep track of dates and stuff. It is really awesome. Um, just don't get wrapped up in taking too many notes on each person that you're talking to. Just think, what do you need to know? Okay. So like for me, the check back date, that is for me for when I come in, I can type in today's date and know that these are my follow-ups for today. But my coach, Amy, she does Google sheets, but she doesn't do like a check back date. She does last checked. Okay. So everybody does things very differently. Just think to yourself, like sometimes when I get overwhelmed with all the people, I literally just take out a piece of notebook paper and I'm like, what is the easiest way to keep track of somebody? Okay. I've honestly broken that down to myself. I'm like, okay, I'm going to invite them. And then how am I going to know to follow up with them seven days later? Like what is the best tracking system for me to do that? And then I want to follow up with them a month later. So what's the best tracking system for that? So to be honest, I don't know if you guys recognize this name, but Caroline Nathan's been like a top coach for a long while on Team Boom. And she still uses paper pen. Okay, so she actually just has a notebook. She buys like, um, like a stack of, I don't know, they're like at Target and you get three tiny little notebooks inside of like one package at one time. So she would have one for like May, June, and July. And then she would have a separate one for um, like people that were super interested. Okay, and then people that she really liked. And I know this is getting confusing, but just go with me on it for a second. So everybody's name that she talked to in May would be in this book, okay? And so she would just write down everybody's name that she invited and then would just go back through and highlight a lot like what Ashley Feldison does. But again, Ashley Feldison has a giant notebook. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't even been using one lately. She has a giant notebook where she's literally writing everybody's name out each day, okay? So if you guys are going to do the whole invite thing, um, and you're doing internet tracking, don't feel like you have to write everybody's name down too. Okay, just do one or the other. Um, I know, Alexa, you were kind of going back, like writing them down first and then adding them later. Just do one or the other. So like if I'm going to, say for example, I'll just show you this. Say if I was starting here and it was day one, okay, and this was all blank. I would just know two to number 42. If I want to do 40 invites that day, I just want to fill that whole space in. There's my 40 invites. I would even sometimes like highlight the, the first and the last box. So I had like a, a goal, if that makes sense. Does anybody have any more questions about tracking? Oh, I also, I've been wondering this. Um, I've noticed that a couple girls like it, that I previously invited have like unfollowed me. So of course that happens, but I didn't know if you would still, cause I realized that only because I was on Captivate and I was like unfollowing girls and I noticed she like unfollowed me. So I'm wondering, would you then like 
take her out of your like follow-ups or to be honest no I don't because I always this is how I think about it I'm like I'm not gonna overthink this if I start going down that path of oh my god this girl unfollowed me I'm gonna start thinking that about everybody and I do I have my moments but instead what I think about it is I unfollow people all the time right and I'm not here for the followers so girlfriend if right now you don't want to follow me whatever because I am still determined to change your life and I'm still going to show up. And it's cool. In my opinion, say if she's like, Oh, I can't believe this girl is going to reach out to me again when I unfollowed her. That's persistence. And if you read any professional development book, they're going to say in the beginning, people are going to think that you're crazy, but eventually they're going to ask how you did it. Okay. So be the coach that doesn't think in her head, Oh, she unfollowed me. So I'm not going to invite her anymore. Be the girl that does it because, and then that girl's story, when she becomes a coach, is going to be like, oh my God, I said no for like ever, and then I finally became a coach. I hear it all the time, okay? So be the girl that didn't give up on her. Okay. Okay? That would be my, my best response to that. Okay. Um, okay. So let's talk quick about... Um, I want to talk quick about success club. Um, I just really loved the call that uh, Mandy Kai did last night. You guys should really YouTube it. Ashley Fodison always shares the recordings. She's on Instagram too. Mandy Kai fit, I think, or just Mandy Kai. Um, her photos are very like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like very white, um, like overwashed or something, if that's the right, I don't know if I'm saying anything right, but anyway, um, mm -hmm. what I really liked about it was that um, she was just talking about how, and guys, I'm going to get a little tough love, but always just because I care, and honestly, I needed all of this stuff too. It's so easy to just sit around and be like, I love what I do, this is so much fun, and blah, blah, blah. And it's fun to talk about these crazy, wild dreams and even just to say the word dreams, right? Like, even when I say the word dreams to you right now, do you have things that are actually popping in your head that you can see that you want to have in your life, that you want to do, that you want to experience with your friends and your family and your own tribe? Like, do you, can you picture yourself being on stage? Okay, whether everyone in Beachbody knows you or only, you know, like the top 10 coaches do, whatever, but like, Every single day, that belief, it's so vital that you have it, okay? And what I loved a lot about that call last night was that she broke the belief down into three different things. And the first thing was she talked about having that belief first off in yourself. Do you believe that you can follow a workout program and not give up after two weeks? Do you believe that you can make a meal plan and actually follow it past Thursday? Do you believe that you can actually be and live out all of the positive motivational quotes that you share on social media? Because we can all do that stuff, but being it is so different. And guys, you know it, you see it, you know the difference between somebody that's faking it and somebody that is actually living it, okay? So don't spend so much time trying to like figure everything out before you just take that first step. I promise you the secret to hitting diamond and five-star diamond and having diamonds in your own business, but more than that, you know, making an income where you open your bank statement and you see something like, you know, $5,300 tomorrow morning in one week, $5,300. Could you imagine in one week? Just be crazy. But all of that's going to come from one, you got to believe that you can change your life. And that this is how you're going to do it. Okay. Um, and it comes a little bit deeper than this too. I always think to myself, like, and especially in the beginning, I used to think this. So let me know if you guys don't feel like this and I cannot go off on this tangent here. But I used to think like, this is so cheesy that I'm trying to tell people that a shake and a workout program is going to change your life. You know, like when I would like sit back and it'd be like the longer, harder days. I'm like, this is so stupid. Like on social media, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then I think about it and I'm like, you know what? I know that this is so much more than that. And when I am involved and I am jumping on mm -hmm. calls and I do listen to a national wake up call and all of that stuff, I believe in this so much. And more than that, I believe in myself and it feels good. What doesn't feel go good though is that is when we decide to take a break. 
we decide that, oh, I did so much today, so I'm just going to like reward myself by sitting down and not doing anything more. We put this limit on what we can do, and when we stop moving, that's when we start to feel like, I don't know if I can do this. That's when your mean girl starts to jut in. The only difference between the people that are doing the things and living the kind of lifestyle that you want to be living now is they're just doing a lot of it all the time. Okay. And it's just a matter of how quickly do you want to one, get out of your situation or two, just change your situation. Okay. It doesn't always have to be something bad that you're running away from. It can be something super awesome that you're running toward. So as far as success club guys, if I were you, I would be shooting for one, reach out to anybody that you just know right now that you've been too afraid to reach out to. Okay. No matter where you are right now on your journey, some of you might be totally kicking butt. From some of you that I've chatted with, it sounds like you are, which is super awesome. Okay, so if you're totally kicking butt right now in your routine, be, be proud of that. Let them know that you're on track and you're kicking ass and you want to help them reach their goals too. Because not everybody is super excited about summer and being in a bikini and sundresses and shorts all you know for the next three months. But they can be if you help them and you let them know that you're there to help them. And then the flip side, which to me is even more of an advantage, say you're not killing your health and fitness journey right now as much as you think you should or could be. Use this then. Reach out and say things to people. Like I was saying when I got back from Mexico, like, oh my God, after tacos and tequila, I seriously feel like a burrito. I need accountability more than ever or I'm never going to get back on track, right? And I'm saying that to them like, I need this just as much as you do. So let's do this together. So I know that all of you have a couple people that you can think of that you've been too afraid to ask and reach out to. Reach out to them first. The worst they're going to say is no, okay? Um, Like even today or yesterday, I messaged three people that graduated um, when I was a freshman in high school that I was like so petrified of and jealous of and they were like so pretty. And I messaged all three of them and none of them responded, whatever. But I was even afraid just to message them. And what's the worst? Like, they're not going to attack me on Facebook. Well, maybe. But there's this magical button called the block button. So it's not the end of the world. Okay? So that's the first thing. Second thing is don't underestimate the power of all of your follow-ups. I know that you guys have been putting in the work. Okay? It's not always just about sitting down and just invite, 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 invite. Talk to the people that might be hanging out in your inbox that you forgot about. Talk to the people that are liking your posts every single day already. There might be somebody that said, yeah, girl, I'm interested last month when you reached out. Okay. So don't underestimate the power of the follow-up guys. Most of my success club points this month have come from follow-ups and more than a one month follow-up. Some, most of them are girls that I've been chatting with for a while. So reach out to those people too. And then of course, I'm just going to throw it out there. Just your donut invites, they're randoms. You never know. It really is a numbers game when it comes to that stuff. And you could just find the right girl on the right day that needed what you have to offer. So as far as success club goes, I know that Jenna, you are solid. You're one more life away from hitting success club 10, which would be so exciting um, to make this your first month. So what's cool is that guys, when you earn success club 10 for 12 months in a row, um, you earn success club legend. Okay. So you get recognized for that. Um, you'll get like a little prize or gift in the mail from Beachbody. Um, I'll shout you out all in team boom and things like that. It's a really, it's really cool to do that. That means that you've helped change people's lives every single month for an entire year. Um, so for anybody else is what would you say? Um, if you haven't hit success club yet, so let's just say like Alexia, Brie and Jess, while we're all here chatting right now, what would you say? Um, You've, you've done really well this month on, okay? So what you said that you focused on that you've done really well and you feel good about, and then moving on to next month, just because if there's one thing I can say, guys, aim to hit success club by the 15th, by the 15th of every month, okay? It's just gonna make this business not seem so like you're, you're grinding all the time. And if you're doing the things each day, you're, you're gonna be solid. It's just a matter of consistency, okay? Okay. Um, so does anybody want to go first? Lexia, Brie, Jess, what it's gone really well this month that you're really excited about and proud of? I can go first if you want. Um, kids that no one wants. Yeah, go ahead. Well, uh, so kind of like I 
started typing it out like before when like I mean just the, because that's part of it like I had to really figure out like I was going back and forth a lot between like do I want to use a sauna or like do it on the computer or, like I'm much more of a pen and paper person but I was kind of afraid to do that too because I'm like if I'm gonna send 50 invites a day like I'm gonna have papers everywhere and like I can get really scatterbrained that way too but like now that I have a system like I have columns I have like highlighters like I have it all how I how I need it in my brain so I was really happy that I have that set up and then I've stayed consistent with that all week so I like feel really confident with that going into next month that it makes it so much easier to go back with my with my follow-ups too with like the new Instagram like the unread the starred all of that really helps with me too um but then just like jumping on team calls and stuff I've really tried to make that like a priority for me too so I hope to do that next month um but yeah just staying consistent and Posting more is a big thing I need to start working on and like captions that are going to get people to like actually do the call to action and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I'm going to be working on for the next month. But I thought that um, I definitely noticed you getting on all the team calls, which was really, really cool. Um, especially even just getting on team boom calls, getting on some of Ashley Fodison's team calls. I'm very, very proud of you. I think that team calls are so underrated and I sometimes will kick and scream and kick and scream. And then after I'm done, I'm like, I literally feel like I could take on the world right now. Like, why didn't I just start this? And I could have been done with this like five hours ago, right? It's just the start, guys. Um, but no, I love that, Jess. And as far as the captions and stuff, I do want to finish off with a little bit of that because I finally finished my um, social media like content calendar or whatever for next month because I'm not very good at promoting groups. So I want to be better at doing that next month. And I want to share that with you guys. So awesome job. Um, flip side, what do you want to focus on moving into June so that you can hit success club a little bit earlier? And you had sent me your diamond goal date, didn't you? Yeah. Um, I think I still need to send you like the revised one for like how I'm going to try and get there before summit. Yes. Um, okay. So we'll just put, we have Jenna, and Megan, June 30th. So we can put you there as well. I'm pretty sure like everyone's kind of aiming for around that date. So I think that's awesome. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight too. So anything that you want to add about wanting to work on for next month? Let's see if anybody else can branch off of that. I, one big thing I want to start getting back into, like when I was working at the grocery store, I was like, I had to wake up earlier. So like I was getting, like, I knew that I had, like, I wanted to work out and do all of this and I had to work. So like, I had to get up early to do my workout. Well, now that I'm not working at the grocery store and I'm like teaching and I can just do things in the afternoon, I've kind of like shied away from that. But like, I realized how big of a chunk of my day that that could be just to send out the invites or just to get my workout done and over with and then be like ready to do anything else for the rest of the day. So I kind of want to try and push for that, but then just like doing my follow-ups first, because that was like the big thing, like. I was just like, God, I like, I'm not used to having people in my inbox, like at all. So it's like, that was like a huge different, like change at just starting coaching and like sending out all these invites. I was like, Oh my God, people really are responding. Like now I have to do this. Like, Oh God. So like, I want to do the follow-ups first. And then that like really helps me get into the invites. And then, like I said, just being consistent with all that. So. Awesome. I am definitely excited to see what you do next month. So just keep going strong. Honestly, people surprise you and you have no idea a lot can happen the next two days. Okay. Yeah. Awesome cool. girl. What about you, Brie? Do you want to mute yourself? I'm sorry. You're fine. Okay. Now can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it, I guess it kind of like, looks like I pulled away a little bit cause I haven't really been like doing as much this month. Um, but I've really actually just been like, it sounds so weird, but like, I've just been like studying. So I haven't, mm -hmm. um, so I guess with like, cause like my whole feet thing and the doctor was like strictly like stay off your feet. You can't do anything. Just rest, rest, rest. So it was just kind of like, I got so bored and then I'd like, I'd want to work out, but then I like, I wasn't really sure how far I could like really push myself. Um, so it was just like a huge game going back and forth. Um, so I just decided to take the time just to kind of like really focus on what everyone like what everyone else was doing and just kind of study and like see like how people post things so I was really just like stalking I guess so I was like really going through like Ashley Feldison's like YouTube channel her posts um I would constantly like watch her stories and then like Haley Christian I was going through her stuff a lot I would like constantly look at your stuff and then really just focus on like uh, the group that Jenna and Megan and all of us are running right now um 
so I've really just been like focusing on that. So then I'll be cleared June 1st. So then I'm just like, I'm so excited to just hop back in and just like run with everything that I've learned and taken in this month uh, yes. of talking everyone. So I'm just like ready to put it into action. <laughs> I love that. Honest. And if there's one thing I can say, it's the quicker that you can act on all of that stuff and be just consistent with that, the faster it's going to turn all into habit. You know, yeah. the fact that they've made a video and they've given you like step, step by step, you know, ways to build this business. It's proof that it's just a skill. It's just yeah. skill sets that you can learn. All right. Just in, even just take it back to bare basics, right? Like Jess is saying, it's so weird to have like messages in your inbox, right? Um, think about it this way, just back to when you were first learning how to write. You know, it's just something that you just practice over and over and over and you find your own style with it, right? Because nobody writes the same. It's, it's the same thing with this. I might say invites and follow-ups and things like that, but you guys can totally do it in your own way. If you want to hey girl and talk to them for three weeks about life and travel and boys and food, do that. And then if you want to go for the invite, totally make it your own. It's just being consistent with what works for you. That's the only thing. It's the only thing that is just being consistent and it's annoying because you can't, there's no shortcut for your consistency. Yeah. You just have to believe and just be patient. So I'm super excited for you. Um, definitely, um, take a few notes when I do jot down, a, when I do go over a little bit of a marketing plan for next month so that you can kind of just jump right on board with that too. Um, so yeah. that'll be exciting. Yeah. I definitely like notice it's really hard to like like try and like because I was like sending out invites in the very beginning like without being proof of the product and I found it was extremely hard because before people were like yeah like I saw your shakes like you're drinking them all the time like I saw you do this certain workout in your one video and then I would send out like invites now and they're like I don't know what you're talking about like don't message me again and I was like this is not working like hey that happens too I get that a lot so too hard. that's why I say to people it's like it's really a little bit of all of it yeah. you know um, it isn't just one thing or the next Some people are always like, you know, what did you focus on to make your business explode? All of it, a little yeah. bit every day and how you get great at each of those is every day, just focus on one a little bit more or take the weekends to study on something a little bit more. Um, yeah. only thing I'm going to say is be a student, but also practice what you're doing too. Okay. In the moment. Only because sometimes we can just take down all of these notes and then we can sometimes just get overwhelmed. But more than that, I don't want you to lose your own style. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause sometimes what's going to work for somebody else might not always work for us. The biggest thing that's working for them is that they just start. They just do the things each day. And then over time, more people are joining their team. So they have more freedom and more time to start doing all of the fluffier things. I'm definitely um, excited to get back in it. Cause I've had people like, message me like just people I never even realized they were really paying attention or watching and they'd be like hey like I noticed you stopped like I was really like paying attention like what yeah. you're doing ideas and I was like I promise I'm not done like I will be back <laughs> yeah yeah and, so and that's the thing too like, encouraging like, you don't have oh my god girl of course people are watching that's the best part that's the best part and when you do get those messages it's just like that reminder that I don't have to be perfect I just need to be me um and the thing too is you don't have to make like a big announcement. Just start as if like you never left. I always say that. Don't, you know, just pick it up as if it was yesterday that you posted last. Okay. Awesome. Alexia, what about you? R really super quick, not to like rush you or anything, but what went really well for you this month and what do you want to focus on a little bit for next, uh, next month? I think this month I figured out like what invite works for me to get the conversation going, like to get a response from people. And I figured out, kind of how many invites I can do on each, like on Instagram and Facebook before it blocks me out. So that way I kind of have an idea of how many I can send out a day. Um, so I definitely think I'm getting better at that. And then definitely like the tracking system, which I've talked to you about before. Like I just need to figure out what's not going to overwhelm me. Um, and just kind of like, I did drop off the map a little bit this month after, you know, like something happened in my family. And so I'm really just trying to like get back to where I was. And I finally feel like I'm like starting to get there, you know, with the move and everything. Like I feel like there's happiness coming back into my life. And so just trying to like focus on that and use that as like fuel to help other people. I love it. Real quick. Let me just be super annoying, but happiness is wherever you are. Okay. 
that is again, step one, you've got to believe in yourself. Okay. doesn't matter where you are. You can be in the middle of ant freaking Arctica. Okay. Mm -hmm. Happiness is going to be where you are. And when you decide that, does it matter what's going on? Okay. Obviously certain things do happen that can, you know, that get in the way of that kind of stuff. Um, but more or less each day, that's seriously guys, why I write down in a gratitude journal. If I do not take the, mo the morning to be grateful for what I have and what I'm working for, like there's no way I would be in the right mindset. It's, and that's okay. So kind of shifting, I want to talk about just to kind of have like a, a little bit more of a game plan here. I promise I'll let you guys go in like 20, 25 minutes. I won't be on here too much longer. I do just want to talk to you guys about a routine really quick. Um, and then I want to wrap it up by talking about coaching. Okay. How to talk about it, how to invite to it, how to plan ahead for a sneak peek, um, videos that are optional that you can make, but more than that, just a coach prospect conversation. Okay. And what are the different options to kind of lead into having that lead into them signing up? Um, I also want to talk about when a client signs up or a challenger signs up, what I do to help them get started, what's been working for me lately and something again, it's going to work if I'm consistent with it. It's not just going to work. Okay. So it's just being consistent. And then I want to wrap up by, um, talking a little bit about a social media game plan with you guys. Okay. So, um, the first thing is let's just quickly dive into routines and stuff. If that was one thing that Ashley Fuddison, Kate Morgan, and Mandy Kai mentioned 8,000 times in that call last night, it was discipline in their routine. It's all they kept saying. They're like, every day, doesn't matter if I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning or I sleep in until 10, 10 a.m. or 2 p.m., whatever. The first hour of my day is always the same. Okay? You might not have that freedom in your life right now to have one, more, one hour in your morning before you go and do something. You could just be sacrificing some sleep in the short time but aren't your dreams worth sacrificing something for, okay? You're not gonna think about the sleep in two years when you are like, what, 25, 26 years old, making like five plus thousand dollars a week and traveling with your best friends, right? Like you're not gonna be thinking about the two hours of sleep that you didn't get that one Tuesday night, all right? So discipline your routine. Guys, every day, like it's just been so rainy here and I, my mood is completely affected by the weather. Yes, happiness is where I am, but sometimes it's where the sunshine is too. And there hasn't been any here and it's been really getting to me. So every day having that routine lets me just get into boss babe, island life, why am I showing up today mindset, okay? And that I told you guys a million times over. Gratitude journal, I read personal development, I drink pre-workout. I send off a few, like 15 to 20 donut invites just to get in the mood. I'm excited. I have some music blasting. I do that workout. I shower. I have my shake. And right there, I've just had my morning routine, my workout, invites, and personal development. That's all four vital behaviors. Done. Done. And I haven't even sat down to actually work yet. And the funny thing is, is that those four vital behaviors are there because Beachbody asked the top 10 coaches in 2017, if they could break it down to four things, four bare minimum things to be successful in this business. It was invites, proof of the product, personal development and recognition. Okay. So try to do that stuff. All right. Try to find a routine, whatever works for you. For me, I love reading. I could read all day long. So I make that the majority of my morning routine. I do a 30 minute workout, shower, shake, and then I just post all that in my stories. And the rest of the day, it's whatever I want. My cat, Ben, blah, blah, blah. But guys, that routine is going to be a game changer. And you can literally write up a routine right now and start tomorrow. You don't have to start Monday or Saturday when you have the weekend. You can literally just start it tomorrow. Like I said, your routine does not matter when you, when you wake up. Just when you wake up, you do the same thing each day just to get into that mindset. So let's go into a coach prospect conversation. Okay. So honestly, guys, I can't really tell you who to invite to coaching specifically and who to invite to a fitness group. It's really, you just kind of get a feel and a vibe for the conversation. Um, depending on what they're posting, you should just have, you know, an idea of, ah, this person would be, I should straight up invite her to coaching. She's already making workout plans. She's already a personal trainer. Like she's not going to want to just do a workout with me. Okay. Now flip side, this could be somebody that is just posting fitness posts, but they're not really saying they're a trainer or anything like that. You can just, just kind of get a feel and vibe for it. All right. 
more or less, my invite is always the same. If I'm going straight for coaching, it's because I am trying to get these girls to check out my sneak peek. That's my ultimate goal. Okay, so my invite is basically just going to compliment them. It's going to say something along the lines of like giving them an out. So like no worries if not, or totally cool if it's not your thing, or I don't know if you've ever thought about just giving them like an out sort of, taking a little pressure off of it, and then saying doing what I do as a, as a coach. And then again, I think you'd just be awesome at it. What do you like, you know, would you ever be open to talk about that sometime? Or I just think that you'd be so awesome at it and I'm obviously obsessed, so I had to at least ask. Okay. When they say that they're interested, I added this to our Google Keep part, those scripts, but I have it when they say interested in sneak peek. I say, yay, I'm so excited. And girl, you're going to love it. So first thing, let's be friends on Facebook so I can get you into this awesomeness ASAP. Next, what does the rest of your week, weekend look like? And if we could set up a time to chat on the phone just to meet, would you be free at all? I don't want to just plug them in this group and be like, peace out. And then a month later, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I messaged that girl. No, no. It's, I'm going to put you in that group so that you see I'm not crazy and that there are other people interested in this. And then two, let's get on the phone now because I'm here to build an empire and I want you to be a part of it if you're serious about hustling and, and making shit happen. Okay. The speed at which you move the conversation, the confidence that you have, that's going to be the confidence that they have in you. They want you to sound like a, a leader because they're freaking petrified right now. They are so afraid. They think that this is a scam. They have no idea what you're talking about. They see you working out, but they don't know you're getting paid for that. Fun fact, all the TIU girls and the BBG girls you see, they don't make any money on that stuff. Tone it up if they're a trainer, they do. But a lot of the accounts that you see for just accountability, they don't make any money on that stuff. All right? So a lot of people just don't know what you guys do. So that's why we share that with them and tell them. So this is the next thing. So basically what I do is I say this, I get them in the group, okay? And we, as everybody's already been doing, we introduce them. Hey, I'm so excited. You know, drop below any questions you have, what you're most excited about, blah, blah, blah. This is what can happen next, okay? Either set up a one-on-one -on -one call with them. To be honest, I definitely would suggest we set up like a three-way call. But if you want to just chat with them first, that's cool too. Keep it super simple though. I do two calls typically. Okay. If I'm going to go the phone call route, and I'm going to give you guys a couple different options that you can do. The first one is I do a phone call route and all I do is I'm like, okay, girl, I'm just going to ask you a bunch of questions. I just want to get to know you just like I did with all of you guys. And I'll ask them about their work schedule. What are they like school? Just what are they doing right now? What is taking up their time? So I can already start picturing when they're going to be working this, um, what kind of posts they're going to be sharing, things like that. All right. And then the next thing is I basically just say to them, what questions do you have for me off the bat? I say, if it's related to money, that's why you're in that sneak peek. There's a video in there that explains everything. That's just the one thing I don't specifically talk on the call because I don't want to confuse them. They can watch a video. It's already been posted in there. You want to tag them in a video about money. Okay. On the phone call though, it's just questions. Guys, they're just scared. They, they more or less want to trust you. They're on the phone with you, all right? They don't need to know the numbers. You didn't join because of the numbers. You joined because of the vision that I painted with you and the freedom that I was talking about with you. So just talk about that stuff. What excites them about life? Get to know them. And then I kind of just go and switch gears a little bit. And I just say, okay, girl, I just want to share with you super quick the five things that i I do as a coach. And you can let me know if this sounds like something that you would be interested in. And these are the five things that I say. The first thing I do as a coach is I share my journey. And if I'm reaching out to her as a coach, then it's probably because she's already doing it. So I'm going to say something like, like you're already doing. LOL, but you're just not getting paid for it. Parentheses, yet, winky face. Literally talking emojis is how many messages I've been sending. It's insane. Okay. So the second thing I say is I connect with people. Okay. I'm in attraction marketing. 
Okay. Not just in network marketing. I'm not trying to network with anybody. I'm in an attraction marketing where I use my personality, my wording, my style, my colors, my posts, whatever to attract my tribe. I just connect. I use social media to connect, not just to post selfies for free. I say the third thing I do is I invite people to be a part of this adventure with me. I reach out to people that are liking my photos, that are engaging on my polls and my stories. I reach out to old friends, family, people I went to college with. And I'm like, yo, girl, what's up? I'm doing this health and fitness plan next month. Do you want to jump in with me? Or, hey, I don't know if you've been looking to make some extra money for you know, the summer and travels or if you have a wedding coming up or you, know, you just want to be able to pay off some of your student loans before you graduate, whatever. But have you ever thought about doing what I do? There's an invite. And let them know that my goal as a coach every month is to help, I always say five people. My goal is to help five people every single month start their health and fitness journey with me. I say number four is I just give them an awesome as fuck experience. I say I show up for myself. I continue to be that light for them because they joined me in the first place. But then I help them find that light within themselves so that they're seeing results, they're making progress, they're having fun. And then number five, I share the opportunity with them. I let them know, girl, you're kicking ass. Or, hey, I haven't seen you check into the group for a little while. But what I can say is becoming a coach has been the accountability I needed to get my butt back into shape. So maybe you just need that extra level of accountability. If you knew that you could make some money by working out, would that you know, encourage you? Or would that be a motivator to you? Okay. So that's what I said. I'm like, does that interest you at all? And more often than not, they're like, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. So I just share, I connect, I invite, I give an awesome experience. And then I share again. I was like, but basically I just start by, by changing my life so that I can help others change theirs. Right. So that's what I say on that call. And then I just sort of finish it off by saying, to be honest, all of my new coaches start off in a fitness group. Cause like I said, it's all about sharing your journey first. So would you be willing to invest in your own health and fitness program? And I do make note that, and PS girl, this is going to be exactly what you're offering to all the girls that join you. You don't have to make workout plans or meal plans. It's, they're already made. And best part, you'll never feel like you're selling anything because you're doing this with them might not be doing the same program or following the same meal plan or drinking the same shake. But remember, we're all here for accountability. And that's why I love this because it's so flexible. It fits any goal that you have. So at that point, I usually then will be like, I'm going to send you a link to join on Facebook. If you're ready to take that leap, just follow the link. And I'll just be like, you know, chocolate vegan shakeology is my favorite, LOL. Um, I'm like, either way though, I'll hit you up tomorrow just to check in and see if you have any other questions I can answer. How's that sound? And then if they order, we do a follow-up call. If not, I just check in and I just, they stay in the sneak peek group and I just follow up with them next month. Hey girl, um, I'm going to go live this week in the sneak peek and talk about blah, blah, blah. You know, would it be okay to tag you? Or just tag them anyway. But that's how a phone call goes. Do you guys have any questions about that? But that's typically how I do mine. Now, that's one option. The other option that you guys can do is you can just put together a group message thread like we have on Facebook for our team. Reach out in the Boom Fam or reach out in the Coaching Tribe, so my coach's team page because there's a few more people in there than us, um, and just say, hey, guys, I have a girl on um, that I'm talking to you about coaching and she does this and she lives here and she has this going on. Just basically give an um, description of who she is so that you can find people like her in the team and say, would anybody be willing to hop on a message? This is common. So all you have to do is just call them a three way message. Okay. That's what we call them. I usually add the girl that I'm talking about myself, obviously, and then two to three other coaches. Just so then she can hear from other people and not be, not feel like, 
pressure. The pressure is taken off for a little bit. Other people are kind of sharing first and then she can share too. After that though, hop onto the one-on-one -on -one phone call. What questions do you have? She's now just heard them talk about Shakeology, heard them talk about how much they like this. They basically just shared their story and why they like coaching. So when you guys hop on a call, it's just basically what questions do you have? And this is how you get started. You're gonna start in my fitness group so you can start your own journey and sharing it. And then from there, see if coaching's for you. If not, you have 30 days to try it all out and return everything for 100% of your money back. Okay, I'm like, there's literally nothing to lose. So those are the two different ways that I kind of go about coaching um, those conversations. Um, so you can even just like, as far as the questions, I keep it simple. What excites you about coaching? The idea of it. Um, I'll be like, you know, what stuck out to you on my page, something like that. Um, and just what questions do you have? But I do just break it down and say, like, I give them the option of either the to be mindset, which is 160 or $200, depending on what you're sharing with them or the A to day obsession. I think A to day obsession is kind of the best way to go. I think that that's kind of what our niche is looking for right now. So I'm like, it's $180 to start your own business. Find four girls to join you next month. And you just put your business your future million dollar business that you built at home at 25, 26 years old, you just put that investment back into your pocket. Most people are in debt for like the first five to 10 years of their own business. Okay. Um, so does that answer that question for you guys? What makes, does anybody want to share like what makes you nervous about talking about coaching to people? Or is it more so just a matter of doing it? or not knowing maybe who to invite to coaching. You guys can unmute yourselves if you have anything you want to share. So oh, I am a little nervous on that because I still am warming up to just like kind of going on a video by myself and just talking. I'm still like getting used to that. But um, more so just like reaching out to people, it's kind of similar. Like, I'm still learning the process, I guess, in a way. So that's kind of why I'm still, like, in a comfort zone that I'm kind of scared of telling other girls about it, you know? So think about it this way, though. You could find that one girl that maybe she moves, maybe she just learns differently than you do. I always think about it this way. Just because I might not be in the mindset yet that, like, Ashley Feldison has – doesn't mean that I can't find somebody out there that is, that I could sign up on my team that would be that kind of person. Okay. So even if you might not think that you're there yet, you are, you are, it's that fear. If you have that fear, it's because you know that that's the next thing that you should be doing. And you do you helped four girls change their lives this month. Do you know how many people have been coaches for years and have never hit success club? Like ever. I can't tell you how many people. And the fact that like in your second month and third month you're doing it, that's pretty awesome. And to me, I think any girl would be lucky to be on your team. And I think that you have a lot to offer them. Um, again, it's just that belief in yourself. If you believe in you, that you're going to be a good coach, and even not just faking it, I'm faking this as I make this half the time that we go on videos. I have some notes that I'm taking, but I'm learning just as you guys are. Okay? So don't be afraid to learn with them. And that's going to be even more attractive people. I wouldn't look at somebody with 40,000 followers and what, and that would be the person I would reach out to. I'd be too intimidated, but I reached out to my coach, Amy, cause she had 8,000 followers at the time. And that wasn't as scary to me. Okay. So think how many people are just going to be like, this girl's relatable. Okay. Um, so as far as coaching conversations, guys, I honestly, I do search more fitness related hashtags. Okay. Actually, that's not true. That's not what I meant to say at all. When I'm inviting to coaching, I do more of a mixture of lifestyle hashtags and health and fitness hashtags. But when I am inviting to a fitness group and they're like donut invites, I look up Tone It Up Girls, BBG Girls, um, big fitness accounts on Instagram, like, you know, girls that work out a lot and post workout videos that have big followers, whatever. They're sponsored. Because if people are following them, then they're obviously interested at least in fitness or workout clothes or something. Um, so those are usually my fitness invites. 
For coaching though, I do a mixture, all right? Because remember that a lot of the times, or for most of us, we're not just fitness girls. Most of us, I would not say that our, the number one thing about us is that we're fitness related. Okay, I think that we all have so many other things that, that drive us. So don't be afraid to look for hashtags like that. It's gonna take a little bit more time, okay? Because you might find a hashtag and find maybe two to three people, but maybe not like 20 to 30, okay? This is why jot down the hashtags that are working, the ones that you're finding a lot of your kind of people, so that the next time you go to do that, you know exactly where to go, right? Okay, so I wanna talk to you guys then next about what I do with a new client. This has been helping a lot especially since I know that you guys have either a lot of invites or follow-ups you're working on. So I know that June is going to be an awesome month for all of us, but I still know that all of you have the power to hit success club by tomorrow night at midnight. Okay. I know that all of you do and use the fact that to be mindset is on sale right now, guys, um, for 20, like it's $20 off. Like you seriously can't beat that. And more than that, even if they don't want the workouts, it's only 160 and they have that forever. That's not even for the year to be mindsets forever. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, but when people sign up, the first thing that I do is I send them, send them a welcome letter, okay? So I send them a welcome letter, and in that welcome letter, everything is pretty much already explained. I will send that in the team page tomorrow, okay? So I send them a welcome letter, and I let them know I'm going to be adding them to a group. Okay, I kind of go back and forth, like either if you have a group running right now, like you said to them, hey, I'm adding you to the Made By Me project. Okay, add them to that app that you have ongoing. If you're in between, just add them to our Girl Boss Gets Fit. And I definitely am going to, um, I'm going to make a poll sometime this weekend as far as who, like how we want to kind of like take turns posting to keep that group alive. I'm really excited about it. I love having an ongoing group and I'm trying and I refuse to let this one die. So please help me refuse to let this die, okay? Um, so after that, I wait for them to text me because that's like the third sentence in their welcome letter. I wait for them to text me, okay? We might already be texting at this point. I don't know. We might have had a phone call, whatever. But at this point, I've messaged them the welcome letter. I've added them to a group, and I wait for this text. This text in the welcome letter, it says, text me with a day and time that works for you so that we can video chat. And I'm going to tell you what I have on the video chat. And I say, for that video chat, we're going to be using Zoom. Please have this downloaded. Okay. So the, all I talk about is mindset and then their specific program. Okay. So say for, I'm just going to give you two examples right now. As far as mindset, I'm like, girl, I want you to write down what your why is. Why are you going to, why is this going to be different? Why is this not going to be another thing that collects dust on your shelf? Why are you not going to be regretting this purchase two months from now? Just why are you going to make this work? I talk about routine. Do you have a planner? not get one. If you do, you're awesome. Future coach. Take note of that. Okay. Let them know, fill in your work schedule. And all this is in the welcome letter. So I say that too. Just fill in your work schedule and then let me know when you plan on working out so I can hold you accountable. I encourage them to get a book, listen to a podcast, or get the shine texts. If you guys are subscribed to those, those are pretty awesome. Shine text.com. You should get those. Um, as long as they're listening to something positive. And again, all of these are letting me know who's going to be a good coach, who's coach material. Um, I also let them know how the check-in is going to work. So give them the layout for how you're going to be running your app, your group, or just let them know how girl boss gets fit runs until you have an app opening. Okay. So I just talk about that. Just four things. Why are they here? Talking about a routine. So like getting a planner, things like that, personal development, and checking in. And then I just finished that off by saying, we're not going to be going into meal planning or anything like that tonight, but I want to know one, do you want to start working out today? And I just let, I get to know what are their goals so I can make a few recommendations because for a follow-up call, I want them to, at that point, let me know what workout program they want to do. And I want them to show me what time they're working out in their planner. Again, just accountability. And not everybody's going to respond to this, but that's okay because you know that you're doing your job and you're helping them use this as a coach. If it's to be mindset, I let them watch the first four videos 
And then I'm like, okay, then the next time we're just going to talk about what questions you have, whatever. And then I send them off next four videos. I watch them too. We do a follow-up call. We talk about them together. Okay. Just be on the journey with them, guys. That's really all that it is. One week before their order goes out, I text them. And I just say, like, I always ask, hey, girl, how's your week going on Thursdays? For new girls, I do Thursdays and Sundays. And for past challengers, I do send a card each month. And I keep track of all that. So I know, like, when I send them a card, things like that, all in Google Sheets. But guys, as long as you are working out every day and you're checking into the group, they're going to do that too. All right. Just encourage them, love on them, things like that. So are you guys good with all of that? I know I just threw out a lot at you. Good. Okay. The last thing I just want to share is a calendar. Um, so I have this like doodled out. So I'm going to have to put it together um, for one on the computer. So difficult to make calendars on the computer. So anyway, the top of my calendar, I have what my success club goals are. Okay, so I'm aiming for success club 30 for myself and 10 for Ben. But this is where I kind of want to share with you guys as far as specific dates and stuff go if you want to follow me with this. All right, I have my next challenge group starting prep week on the 18th. So that means I have three weeks to invite and prepare for this. Okay, so it's going to start prep week on the 18th. In the meantime, anybody that joins, I'm just going to add them to Girl Boss Gets Fit. Okay, and I'm just going to show up to that group. Um, I'm going to put together an actual a sneak peek of the Challenge Tracker app. If you guys want to do that with me, run that with me. If you, it's just going to be I want to just be like a two day group and nothing crazy. But for anybody that's like, what the heck are you talking about with an online fitness studio or an online boot camp? I just want to show them what this is. Okay, so I'm going to break down what the heck is Shakeology and why do I love it. I'm going to talk about pre-workout just as like that extra little thing. I'm going to show them Beachbody on demand and basically just showing them the different prices, the different options to sign up as a discount coach off the bat, in case that, that waves that $40. And it's basically just giving them information in two days and then they stay in the group. Okay, then you can keep checking in with them. As new programs come out, we can update it and announce it in there. Basically, it's like a preview group for all of our programs and groups that we're running privately. I want to do that on the 12th to the 13th of June. So just two days. It's just a Tuesday and a Wednesday. And I'm going to give them Thursday and Friday to get their shit together. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then have Sunday as the, the deadline to order. Or not the deadline, but just kind of like saying, if you order by this date, I'll, I'll send you something little. Okay. So those are like my biggest things more or less. Um, I want to do a coach sneak. What was I going to say? Coach sneak peek the last week of the month. So the 26th through the 28th. And this is where it gets kind of exciting in my opinion, at least I'm, I can get my stories. And I'm like, what should I invite to today? And I really like that Haley talked about having just a plan of what you're going to be talking about and inviting to in your stories. Okay, she said, invite in your stories every day to something. Okay, so I kind of looked ahead at the weeks and thought, when are these groups starting? And when should I be talking about what in my stories? So I have the 12th is going to be the sneak peek. And then the 18th is going to be the, the start date is what I'm going to be calling it. I'm going to say June 18th, June 18th, June 18th. I'm going to start talking about that the first of the month. So that's Friday. And I'm going to talk about that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm going to talk about it in my stories on Wednesday. And I'm going to talk it, about it again Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm just going to keep doing that method. Basically, I'm just skipping Tuesday and Thursday. Why? Because on those days, I'm going to invite to, the, to coaching. Okay. Just letting people know that it's not just health and fitness. They can actually get paid and make money and do this with me. And they can go to the beach this summer and actually get paid to take pictures of themselves in bikinis and things like that. Actually get paid to boomerang their meals that no one cares about, right? But it's different when you have a tribe and you're getting paid to do it, okay? That's when it makes it all so much worth it. Um, 
like, I don't know about you, but I would never be on my phone if I wasn't making money off of this stuff. Like, I think it's crazy. I never took selfies before I became a coach. Like, I don't know. I just, and that's just, it was a self-confidence thing too. But, um, you know, to make money off of like literally playing on social media. So I'm still making this fun. I'm not writing down what I'm going to be talking about. I'm just letting myself know I want to start talking about it on these dates so that when I do make a call to action, when I do invite them, they have heard me talk about this nonstop. They're going to be interested. They might not join, but they're going to be interested. And that's all that matters. Because once I have them interested, now they're watching me. And it's just a matter of when are they going to join? Okay? So when you're also thinking about this too, what do you want to do think about though? Like, what do you want to talk about when you're chatting about this in your stories? This is a huge thing, guys, is letting people know why are you running this group? Okay, so I talk about girl power and confidence all the time. So this whole like made by me thing is like, I did this. I earned this. I didn't cut any corners. I didn't take any shortcuts. I put hard work behind reaching these goals. So our Lexi and I's theme is all of our posts are going to be an empowering woman. And it's going to be one of the quotes that they've, they've said or a lyric that they sang or something like that. So that's going to be like the layout of the group. So it totally goes in line with who I am and, and what I talk about all the time. For next month, one, a compliment I get a lot and something like one of my favorite, you know, I guess things to work my body or muscles, whatever is my arms. I love doing upper body stuff and shoulders and things like that. I feel strong, um, which I think is empowering for women. So that's going to be like my focus for next month is talking to a lot of people like, you know, do you feel uncomfortable wearing sleeveless shirts? I know I did for all of high school. I hated that stuff. I always felt like I was wearing cardigans and I didn't like how those looked on me either. I was always the girl in the friend group with the hoodie on always cover myself standing in the back. Like that was me. I just did not like my body, but now that I can own it and I feel stronger and this way I can talk about lift four. I can talk still about 80 day obsession. So the why behind it is personal, but then I'm giving them also like, this is what we're going to be doing. I have a plan. I can help you. Okay. Just show up every day. Let them know that you're not going anywhere. Okay. And then just to finish this off, I'm going to spend this weekend putting together a dash to diamond group. I've never done anything like this by myself. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've been in a couple before and you have to like normally pay $20 because there's like a pot. This is going to be free because I love all of you and I've never done this before. Um, and I'm trying to help to get my mom to diamond anyway. So I'm going to be putting together a series of videos that I think are what, should you, what you should do each day to hit diamond. The biggest one I'm going to focus on though is when you have conversations of um, coaching conversations, inviting the sneak peeks, but then the flip side is getting people to sign up as a coach when they order. Not forever and not every time somebody joins you, but if they're super cool, totally put the idea out there. If they're already really hesitant, don't. Just get a feel and vibe for the conversation. All right? Um, but just really talking about why that is such a business builder mindset. Okay. Um, do you guys have any questions? No. I have a question about the lift thing. Um, yes. that automatically gets like uploaded into our thing, right? Yep. Yep. That'll be automatically uploaded. Yeah. Um, what else is going to say to you guys? Okay, yeah. So do you guys have any other questions? We're all good? Okay. Um, so tomorrow's the last day of the month. I don't know what you guys have going on, but I'm going to do a power hour around, I'm thinking like 8.30 or 9. So if you guys want to do anything, then just like bust out the end of the month. Awesome. Um, don't be afraid to do invites at the end of the month and thinking, oh, well, no one's going to join. Remember, they could join tomorrow and you could start at the first of the month, already change three girls' lives. Okay, super exciting. All right, I love you guys. I will see you later. Yeah, I will, I will. When I do um, go live, though, or when I do host a power hour tomorrow.